Back here with Biggie's Breakdowns, I'm Josh Slackus alongside Richard Prosser here, and we're here to discuss the Creighton Blue Jays. Last year, Creighton finished 22-9, 14-6 in Big East play, and lost in the championship game to Georgetown in the Big East tournament. The Creighton starting lineup of last year is no more, as all five of them are now gone. You have Marcus Zagorowski, who was a Big East first team player, graduated. Three point specialist Mitch Ballock graduated. Damian Jefferson, who was a Big East second team member, graduated. Denzel Mahoney, a Big East honorable mention player, graduated. And then you have Christian Bishop, who is now transferring over to Texas. So those are the key losses and pretty big ones at that. But they also have key additions, one coming in the form of transfer Ryan Hawkins. He's a 6'7 forward from Northwest Missouri State, where he won three national championships in Division II basketball and was also named the most outstanding player from the Division II Elite Eight. He put up 16 points and 11 rebounds in Creighton's first game and will play a significant role for this team throughout the season. Then you look at the recruiting class, and Creighton has the number one ranked recruiting class in the Big East, the eighth ranked nationally. They have four four-star recruiting coming in all within the top 100 you first have Arthur Kalama who's a talented 6'8 wing who put up 15 points and 8 rebounds in their first game he's going to be a very big presence for them both this year and throughout the future of his tenure at Creighton then you have Ryan Nemhard, a 6'1 point guard who put up 15 points and 10 assists in his first game looks to be the point guard of the future for this team then you have Mason Miller who's a 6'9 power forward and Trey Alexander who's a 6'4 shooting guard both of whom look to be filling in a strong depth for this Blue Jay team then they also have a three-star recruit coming in and shooting guard John Christophilus. And looking at the key players for this Blue Jays team, you got to start with Alex O'Connell. He looks to be the team's go-to player, scoring 20 points in their first game this year. Transferring from Duke last year, he needs some time to get acclimated to the team. And with their depth in the backcourt, he didn't have the opportunities to showcase his talents. Shooting 7 for 8 from the field and 3 for 4 from 3 in the first game in the second half alone, you can see his talent take over there. Another player to look at is Ryan Cockbrenner. The 7-1 sophomore looks to be a presence in the paint this year. With his size, he is a Blue Jays rim protector, averaging 1.2 blocks per game last year in only 13 minutes. You would think in his second year he would be able to dominate more in the paint, improving on his 6 points per game last year. UConn has a distinct advantage in their veteran experience category. UConn is returning 8 key players from the tournament team last year, opposed to Creighton, who is only returning a few role players from last year. This should help the Huskies, especially if they end up in a close game late. Well, that was the Creighton Blue Jays, but next time Richard and I are going to be going over the Villanova Wildcats in what will be our final Biggies Breakdowns of the season.